humans and non-humans and you kitties out there watching my cats watch youtube all the time so if you are a cat please hit that subscribe button right now <laughs> i have i'm assuming by the title of the video you know what this is a joa brown haul i shouldn't be clapping because i'm actually not happy with it i spent the last probably six five five-ish years um pretty soon after they launched just like lusting after this brand and I've never purchased anything from them I even scour is that the word I'm looking for I think so I scour Poshmark all the time looking for cheap versions like used versions of the clothes because they were that expensive now when it first came out it was still expensive but it wasn't this expensive and now it's just like it's out of reach for the normal person in my opinion um but every year i think they maybe twice a year or once a year they do a big flash like sale and i bought stuff and i regret it so we're gonna do a haul i haven't tried this on in a few months i bought this a few months ago when they did the sale they have no returns so you buy anything on sale that you buy you can't return it that's my bad i should have just bought it i definitely should have just bought the normal price stuff um that I can't afford so you know coming to a Poshmark near you soon here is what I have I have two tank tops a long sleeve shirt a pair of biker shorts and a pair of sweatpants I don't remember if I hated all of it or I loved some of it. I want to say there are a couple things that I am keeping, but again, I haven't tried this on in a few months. Maybe my mind has changed. Maybe my body has changed some. I am postpartum, so like, yeah, my body has changed and I've been working out more, so maybe I'll like it more on me. Um, or I'll just be the same and be like, that's not worth it. I think that's more so the case. So I have my robe on. This is from Target years ago, the Mossimo no machine no you know what i can't pronounce the brand but whatever it is it's an expensive brand that teamed up with target and made it not expensive so i can't show you the bottom half because it's very short okay just for reference i bought medium larges in every single piece i do think that was problematic on a few pieces that i maybe i should have went a size down you will see um so here's <laughs> here's the outfit the shorts on the outside feel like a lines um so soft and buttery i am not wearing seamless undies you will be able to see panty lines um they're very comfy the so like i said the, the outside feels just like a lines i think it even goes down in the butt some with the seams i could be wrong can't quite see that um but the inside feels like a, your generic like tj maxx liking um but i do like these and i do remember wanting to keep them and i think and i only have a viewfinder i don't have a mirror in here i think i will still keep these just because they are comfy they're a seamless fit which for me is very important because uh you know i don't have abs and when they have seams on it it tends to like just accentuate a nice little roll there so vanity reasons of course it's just comfort and the top i don't remember liking this i think that well one they're not great for breastfeeding right because i'm not wearing a bra i would need to wear a bra i don't think it goes under maybe i need to pull it down more i don't i don't know I, it's just a tank top i will tell you the prices and that's part of the reason i don't like it let's bring you back up to my face the some of your like no. Um, hmm. The biker short on sale is $62. Regular price was I think like 80 something. The cami, this is the bustier, bustier cami. This is $58. I think originally like 70. No one needs to spend $70 on just a ribbed tank top. No one. I did. 58 way too much okay <laughs> i sorry i'm gonna be kind of angry during this just because i was so excited for this brand and i was so let down and i think part of it's because i don't look like the models the models are the most beautiful humans out there and they looked 
A plus, amazing, best thing ever. Would wear it, so I almost said 10 out of 10 days, seven out of seven days. And not even trying to body shame myself or anything. I just like don't feel comfortable in this. So this is outfit number one. Tell me what you guys think. Was it worth the money? I'm gonna probably say no. Okay, outfit number two. I'm gonna use a baseball cap because that's what the models wear and maybe that'll make me feel better about it. Uh, the tank top. I think I like it more than I remember. I don't think, again, breastfeeding, this is not breastfeeding friendly. I do think when my boobs are not leaking milk that this would be a cute tank and it's double lined and I appreciate that. So let's see how much this one was. Um, the hat is Adidas, it is not part of this. Uh, this is called the square, no, this is called the triangle cut cami and it's $62 in a medium large fit, great. Um, I think the medium large and the last tank and the shorts also were a good fit. So, um, the next portion of this are <laughs> these and these are what I was most excited for because they always show these oversized joggers, they're called the oversized jogger <laughs> and they are very oversized now i have them ruled a ton they do not come with pockets huge disappointment missed the mark there it needs pockets uh these were a hundred and twelve dollars on sale originally like 150 are you serious they are literally one they're not soft whatsoever they are huge my vagine should not look like it's down here uh, which is why I'm rolling it. It does come with a drawstring. The models have it pulled all the way down. Uh, this is as far as it will go on me. This is not worth $100. And the thing is, the resale of these on Poshmark is also ridiculous. A used pair I'm finding for $100. So I'm hoping I can, if I end up selling them, now I might just... I might just keep it all. I might just keep it all out of one, out of spite because I spent so much, but two, because maybe I'll end up liking it or maybe they'll just turn, the, honestly, it's gonna, these joggers will turn into pajamas that I take baby on walks in as well. So, whoa. sorry, I know I'm coming off very angry, a very angry human. I'm normally not like this. I just like love saving money and I was so excited about this sale. And then I realized uh, it's overhyped. It is so overhyped. And I wish I would have liked it. My biggest advice would be to buy full price. And I never say that. But in this case, I 100% mean it. Because you buy full price, you will, like, I like this tank. I'd probably keep this tank. I probably would have bought it full price. But, like, then you can return it if you don't like it. So these joggers would have been returned. Um... And I don't know why I'm already like acting like the video's over. I do have one more top, so let's go ahead and put that on. I'm gonna keep this tank on with it because it is not suitable for not wearing a bra and I don't feel like putting one on, so we're not. Ew, let me go down so you're not seeing my undies. This is, I do have a tank under it and it is kind of bulky. Um, this is the square neck long sleeve tee. It's very like off the shoulder. I don't know how to wear this because it's very thin. Um, like you, you'd have to be wearing a bra and I don't own a strapless bra. I guess maybe that's what you would want to wear with this. I don't know. Ugh. Um, yes, this is that. So let me pull my pants up now. I like it more than I thought I did actually. I don't know, does it look stupid with this under it? I'm wondering if I can get away with like wearing a tank under it and being okay. I don't know, I think that does look kind of dumb actually. Um, how much was this? That's not my phone. This is my phone. Uh, this is again the square neck long sleeve for $72. I was very excited about this. I don't know if this one I would want a smaller size just because it is kind of falling off my shoulders and I wish that this came up more and then maybe a bra would go with it. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. That was everything. That's my Joa Brown haul. I've unsubscribed from their emails to try not to tip myself into ever wanting anything again um, because I do think they look beautiful on those people and I'm sure some of you that maybe own this like look wonderful. I just don't feel wonderful. So that's everything. Let me know in the comments below if you loved me, if you hated me. Would you spend that much on this? Let me know and I love you. Don't forget to